Canadian consumer group recently reported that continuous use of the video games may leave a permanent imprint on television tubes, though the marks can only be seen when the set is turned off. But so far there have been no complaints from local customers. We've been handling these video games for over two and a half years, and we haven't had anybody report anything like it. Now, I imagine that if uh, in extreme cases somebody leaving it on continuously, something might happen, but we've never had anything like that. At least one television manufacturer has begun to market televisions with the video games installed. Usually the games are wired to the set. The games actually appear within the set and not superimposed on it. Tennis or ping pong is the most common video game, although variations of basketball, hockey, and other games are also played. Although the game was made for two people, one can play just as easily. But then the problem is, who wins and who loses? This is Molly Broderick for Channel 10 Newsbeat.